what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Bonjour et bienvenue au Forum Report. I'm Sophia Osborne, the managing editor here at The Gateway, and I clearly don't speak French. Today was the Campus Saint Jean Forum, where we saw all the races together, although I will say that the CJSR pub site didn't send anyone out, and this is the first time all election season that one of the candidates hasn't been there. This was definitely a missed opportunity to let CSJ students know about CJSR. Luckily, this forum was by far the most interesting one so far. We got to see the candidates' French skills, or lack thereof, listen to some truly appalling answers, and hear more about poutine than I've ever wanted to. If you didn't make it out to CSJ, here are the top three things you missed. The two presidential candidates, current VP academic Akank Shabatnagar and VP student life Andre Bourgeois, won head-to-head -head at this forum over CSJ issues. It was great to see the two of them differentiating themselves and making it clearer to voters what they'd be getting with each candidate. In his introduction, which opened the forum, Andre said that if elected president, he would reduce the fees that CSJ students pay to the students' union. Since CSJ students have less access to SU services, and because he thinks the executives aren't keeping their promises to the French campus. Students at CSJ are right. Right now, the student's union isn't worth it if you're a CSJ student, and that's why as president, I'll do everything I can to work with council to cut your student's union fee. Augustana pays a reduced student's union fee, and you should too. The student's union shouldn't charge you full price for you to bus 30 minutes to main campus for a service that's only available in English. Cutting the fee doesn't mean I want to cut your services, you'd just be paying less. And if there comes a time where we at the Students' Union are capable of offering services at CSJ in French, then maybe we can talk about reversing the decrease. This is a really different approach than I've ever seen in my time covering the SU, and it was really refreshing. But whether this is what CSJ students want is a different story. It's a pessimistic position to take, and seems to be admitting that as president, Andre doesn't think he'll be able to change things for CSJ students. This gave Akanksha an opening to point out all the things she did do for CSJ students as a VP academic and the things she would do if elected president. Every single year, candidates come up here and make promises for stay, and a lot of the times they haven't delivered. But as your vice president academic, I did. You guys told me last year that your education program wasn't the same quality as North Campus, and so we created the Transfer Credit Articulation Committee, where we will be auditing courses from CSJ and Augustana to make sure they're reaching the same academic level as North Campus. You told me you could only minor in five out of the 13 majors at Science, so I met with your dean, we met with the IUFSG president and the Faculty Association of Science, and we will be seeing calendar changes really soon to make sure that you have access to more science options. As the forum went on, it became clear they would have different approaches when it comes to CSJ. What do you think is the most important issue for CSJ students, and how do you plan to address that issue in your term? When you think about all of the compounding factors that influence the student experience, the number one thing that affects your mental health, the number one thing that affects your learning experience, whether or not you can live close to campus, is cost. It's the thickest line in a graph of intersectionality, and it's the most important one to students. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut your feet. Uh, the biggest issue that I see that CSJ students are facing right now is that they're not receiving the highest quality of education, although going to a University of Alberta. It became clear at this forum that many of the candidates know next to nothing about the French campus and haven't even tried to do their homework. There were many candidates, including Akanksha and Andre, who didn't bother to say bonjour to the francophone audience or try to say a quick introduction in French. We also saw that many candidates knew very little about specific problems facing CSJ students, from academic programming to events, and were only able to say vague things about connecting CSJ to main campus and working with CSJ's faculty association. This overall lack of knowledge did make candidates who knew their stuff stand out. I really want to bring to the table again that this past year I was actually a regular student. And this is driving point home more of like how I don't have enough interactions with CSJ to even care about these things in the first place. And that's why I don't know much about it. And that's why we need to interact more with CSJ in general. Yeah, unfortunately, I also do not have much information about this committee. However, moving forward, uh, the big thing for me would be to work with AUFSG and the 
services here on uh, Campus Saint Jean. I'm just wondering if any of you know of any student-led activities or events at CSJ. Uh, I heard you guys have this thing called the poutine party. I don't know. All right. Maybe, maybe that's what you call it. I'm sorry. Uh, one of my degrees, I'm a double major, one of my degrees is actually drama. And so we were incentivized, we hacked to go and talk about it. Forgive me, because there's two canoe festivals. There's the canoe festival and there's flag canoe festival. So I've been to that one in the past, and I've heard of the uh, francophone party. But, or sorry, I already forgot, I, my apologies. But uh, I also come here in the summer, because as drama, I come to, um, oh God, I forgot the festival French. name. No, it's in the end of August. Uh, Fringe. Fringe, yeah, so you just said, yeah, Fringe. Uh, the ones that I can list off the top of my head are the Festival d'Hiver, which uh, I had the chance to attend to it last year. Uh, this year I was ill, and my apologies for that. Um, as well as the as the Fête du Frère Fanny, avec beaucoup de poutine. Um, and on a weekly basis, we have the Valdi D Switch with the Nintendo Switch and, and other minor games like ping pong tournaments and whatnot. This forum also showed that voting none of the above could be a viable option, with VP Academic, VP OpsFi, and Board of Governors representative all uncontested, it feels like the candidates aren't trying as hard as they should be. They need to remember that students have the option to vote none of the above, and candidates have lost to NOTA in the past when students are unimpressed with their performance. It's certainly not a given that the positions will be handed to them, and that's the way it should be. If they aren't coming to forums prepared to answer students' questions, or if they just repeat the same vague answers again and again, they need to be prepared to face the consequences. Uh, unfortunately, there's no other candidates for this role this year, so I'll obviously I hope you will vote for me regardless. Programs uh, need the most support. Um, why do they need that support, and how are you going to offer it to them? I can't speak specifically on which programs need support, but I think I, what I will be willing, what I will be very dedicated to do is um, working together with AF, I, AFSG to figure out which which of those programs are the best. Overall, this forum was a great test for candidates, and while people like Jared, Akanksha, and Andre passed with flying colors, some candidates really faltered. It was great to see CSJ students pack the cafeteria and come out to ask hard questions. I hope students at main campus bring the same energy to the Meyer Horowitz Forum on Monday. Stay tuned.